His poster depicts the famous K-pop girl group Mystic. They're especially popular with the guys, and girls like to emulate their fashion and dance routines. Can't believe they're about the same age as me. Do they need to have an Overwatch uh, collaboration is what they need to do. I don't have a map of the area. Stop checking the map. Stop checking that out. Let's pause the game. Because Empirical Woodland has redeemed show and tell. And, well. <laughs> it has shine say, everybody! Welcome in, Bronwen and friends. We're going to shout out Bronwen. And then we're going to do... Um... We, uh, we, uh, we are going to shout out Bronwyn. Oh, there you go. Empirical Woodland beat me to it by moments. Uh, good luck with stream. Thank you very much. Thank you for the raid. Good to have you here. Um, we're going to go to this screen over here. Because Empirical Woodland has redeemed show and tell with remarkable timing. Again, if I didn't know better, I'd say he knew what it was. Because it's a pigeon. I <laughs> this is a pigeon sitting on my back wall. Because for whatever reason, while I was shopping, I thought to myself, do you know what I'm going to do? It's like a pound for a, what, 500 gram bag of mixed nuts and birds like nuts. And it's good. It's got protein in them. So what I did, I picked it up, and first thing in the morning when I wake up, I throw a handful of nuts out onto the roof, and what's actually really interesting to me is that different birds eat different kinds. The pigeons, they go for the small ones like the almonds. There's magpies, and they go for like the cashews. And then there's, there's one crow, one massive crow, and they like... Uh, walnuts and it's really interesting that each kind of bird will only take one kind of seed to me anyway this bird uh, this pigeon right here it, they were just sitting there waiting for me to feed them this morning it's like hey uh, it's like 5 a.m. and there is not currently food in my face where is it and you can see where it is it's on the wall in front of it but Pigeons are generally confused, so there you go. And you know what? It's not even their fault. We bred pigeons to be reliant on us, and then the war ended, and we're like, go, be free now. And the pigeons are like, hi, what? And they, they don't really know what's what. If you ever seen a pigeon building a nest, that's a good example. They, they, they do not care. And for people who have just raided in, and for the VOD, because I'm going to clip this as I often do. Just before Empirical Woodland had redeemed show and tell, I paused the stream briefly so I could go and throw a handful of nuts on the roof because I had a group of pigeons standing out there looking real confused at me. So, and what am I going to do? Not be kind to animals? Get out of here with that. I ain't about that. Be nice to the burbs. Anyhow, that is... That is uh, today's show and tell. A lovely pigeon... Waiting for me to feed it. And I did. They're still kind of skittish. They don't let me get close. But like, this is close. That's not bad, right? Also, I like this down here. Rickstress is absolutely correct. 5am, sitting on my roof. A group of pigeons. And Empirical Woodland just peering over the edge. He's like, alright. Alright, I'm going to chase them off. They're going to have the sunflower seeds and the almonds. I'm going to have them cashews. <laughs> 